Four weeks ago and a day from today, I started off on a little journey. I realized that I was having an issue with too much processed food, you know, the fake meats, uh, the meatballs, really, the Gardein meatballs was really the issue. I'm talking about from the beginning of the year. I did notice that I was kind of starting having a little bit of an addiction to that. And I was talking to somebody and they're like, well, why don't you, you know, do a, like a potato reset or something like that? So I wanted to get rid of some of the I guess addictions that I was having to some of the processed foods, some of the vegan food and, you know, the packaging and stuff like that, that I was having over the last, I don't know, six to eight months. It was, it was really getting bad. And it was, it was, it was making it so I wasn't very hydrated. It was making it almost impossible to lose weight, if not impossible to lose weight. I was a little surprised at the weight loss uh, on what I've done over the last four weeks. That's going to be at the end of the video because I want you to watch the whole video, of course. I did write some notes over here. On uh, week one, I was doing juice and potatoes only. I wanted to kind of reset the taste buds. I know a lot of people do the two week uh, potato reset and have a lot of success with that. I'm also gonna show right here the first shopping trip. All right, so what do I got here? I got, I got two of these bags. They're five pounds. I got, oh, I got three. I got four of these white potatoes. five pounds so it's like 25 pounds total so we'll see how this goes as you see i bought a bunch of potatoes i, I think i bought 25 pounds of potatoes and i had another five or five to eight pounds of potatoes already sitting here i was going through about five to six pounds of potatoes a day i think i did have to go on another shopping trip that week and i forgot to film it all right so i'm on day one two three four Five, five of this, uh, potatoes only. I have noticed that I have to drink a lot more water than I usually do. And it's just been kind of boring. So honestly, this is the first time I, I'm actually documenting this whole thing uh, because I've just been doing uh, fries for lunch. I haven't really been that hungry in the morning. So fries for lunch and then a huge thing of mashed potatoes at night. So I'll hopefully document some of that. And when I carry it over, if I have extra mashed potatoes, um, I think I'm gonna make like some kind of air fried fritters with that. We'll see what actually happens with that. Uh, but anyway, so far so good. I haven't really missed anything else. I really wanted to see what this does digestion wise, which has been really good. It was going good. It really, it was really going good. The first night that I did it, which was a Saturday, I was shocked at, uh, if you guys watch my Instagram or, or look at my Instagram, I have these these red bowls. I forget, I think it's like a 40 ounce bowl or something like that. It's a, a medium sized bowl basically. And one bowl of mashed potatoes filled me up for that entire dinner and I couldn't eat anything else. And I went to bed that night and I stayed to sleep all night. Like it really carried me over to the next day and I had juice again. And I did that all week. Uh, so what I was doing was I'd have juice in the morning uh, that would that would fill me up, and then I would have fries uh, a couple times usually. I would make one set of fries and another set of fries, and then at night I would have whatever whatever form of potatoes I was going to have. I have taken a little bit of video and pictures. I'll show that interspersed throughout the video. That went on pretty good. And then that week and the following was actually Easter weekend. And I did end up having pasta instead of potatoes on, on Easter because my mom said that she had potatoes. She had like three little potatoes and they were rotten. I'm like, why didn't you, you know, they have a compost bin, throw them in the compost. So I had to have pasta because that was all they had there it was Easter. I, I didn't really think any stores were going to be open. So I was stuck with, you know, it didn't it didn't uh, throw me off. I had pasta, diced tomatoes and pasta sauce with a little bit of sugar in it because it, it cuts down the, on the acidity of the canned tomatoes. That started me off into week number two. And if I have a shopping trip for that, I'll show it right here. All right. So here's my fry maker. This is what they look like. When they come out, I made quite a bit. I have been just buying regular, I, conventional. I haven't buy, the only time I buy uh, organic for whatever reason is with the red potatoes. So this is five pounds. I got 25 pounds I already had like 
four or five uh, at the house. So I've almost gone through 30 pounds of potatoes in five days. So I'll make that and I will show you when it's done. Here they are. And this just got some Japanese barbecue sauce and they did have a little ketchup left. Does this not look like a little stick figure thing? Like hangman thing? It's right here. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to uh, soak your potatoes with your little... Where did that come from? Anyway, soak the potatoes for like 20 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever, day. <clears throat> the reason you soak them is because it removes some of the gummy starch. That way they mash a lot better. Week number two is where I started to notice a little bit of issue. I was not able to get down as many potatoes as that I really wanted to get down. I was starting to have issues with not having enough energy and that really like tail headed or whatever, it really showed its ugly head at one point. And all right, so yesterday I ran into an issue where I ran out of glycogen completely. It was really bad. I was out for a walk and I had, I, I actually came back. I came off potatoes. I had three dry cups of uh, rice cooked in my rice cooker over there. And so today I'm actually going to be kind of prepping a little bit more so I don't have that happen again. I, I don't know how, this is probably... Uh, eight to 10 pounds of potatoes uh, that I'm gonna be boiling. I'm gonna soak them for a little while and I'm going to boil them. What I do with them after that, I have no idea, but I'm gonna have to do a little prep here. Completely bonked, I completely bonked. I could not, I didn't actually think I was gonna make it back to my car from this hike. I, I the, my, my eyes, the, the vision was closing in, it was terrible. So that night I went home or came here and I had three dry cups of rice and it was miraculous. I My energy was completely back and that's when I turned it into a juice, potato and rice diet. So it kind of an adapted. At this point in the first week and then the second week, I was actually having vegetables, uh, non-starchy vegetables with my meals. Okay, so that is something that I wanna take note of. While I'm thinking of it, I was I was making rice, so I, I'm going to show how I process rice uh, right here. All right, so this is the uh, washing the, the rice out that I was talking about. I just put it in here and I move around, and you can see how it starts clouding up. You just keep doing that until the water gets clear. And I'll be back when it's clear. All right, this is number seven or eight. You can see it's finally clear. And you'll notice that the, the rice starts getting a little buoyant and starts coming out when you pour it out. So uh, make sure that you don't lose too much rice. <clears throat> I forgot to mention that was three cups of rice. Um, so I filled it up to the three on there. So you just go by the, the little measurement there and you use the cup that came with the rice cooker. If you don't have that, I would still uh, rinse it out until it's fairly clear water. I'm gonna let this sit for about four hours. Actually, it's gonna be about five hours before I cook it. That way, everything's um, just activated, basically. I'm gonna go on in week number three. Week number three, I changed things up a little bit. I started, uh, there was a salad that I used to make when I was recovering from my surgery. It is cucumber, celery, dates, tomato and apple with a little bit of uh, ground brown uh, mustard and dill and you, you stir that up and you eat it. I started adding that, so I was having juice, that salad, then I would add in the potatoes and the rice at the end of the day. Uh, before I forget about it, I think I do have a shopping haul, so I'm going to show that here. All right, so it's the start of week three. I, do, I did get this stuff. That went really well. I really liked the way that was going. My digestion was getting really good. Uh, the, f it just it, everything was flowing really, really well. 
I started utilizing rice more at this point, I think, than potatoes. I, 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 I know I did. There, there was some nights where I only had potatoes. There was some nights where I only had rice. There was also some nights that I had, uh, like I made a curry. Now, like no fat curry, I would just use curry spice and I would use a stock and I would just make a curry sauce and it was it was very simple. Uh, it was usually just potatoes. If I had onion, I don't have any more right now, but I, I would put onion and carrots in it or something like that. And that is how week three went. Week four. And change things up even more. You'll see, you, you probably saw if I had one uh, in the video for the haul for a week three, I started buying fruit again. Now, none of it was ripe enough to use for uh, week number three. So I started utilizing it in week number four and I started off my day with juice most of the time and then I would have bananas and then I would have mangoes and then I would have that salad that I'm talking about and then I would um, have dinner basically of uh, starch. So it basically morphed into a raw till four unknowingly. Another thing that I did have in week number four that I'm gonna show the video of here is sweet rice. So I'm gonna show those videos. All right, so I was talking about sweet rice in one of my videos. I forget which one it was. I'm actually gonna make some today, so I'm gonna show you what it is. I'm also gonna show you kind of comparatively to regular medium grain rice. So here we go. All right, so here's the label. This is just a five pound bag of it. This is what it looks like. Um, and then if you compare that to uh, medium grain, one second. So here, here's medium grain, and then here is uh, sweet rice. It com a completely different texture, taste, everything. So I'll show you when it's done. I still rinse it out like the other ones. As you can see, it doesn't really have as much in it as regular rice, so. And as you can see, there's actually a sweet rice uh, setting, or uh, uh, I don't even know what you call it, measurement for it. And I got it on three because I got three cups in there. And then there's also something on the rice cooker that I'll show you. All right, so if you see on here, uh, it says sweet. So you just hit the menu. There, and I'm not gonna be cooking this right now, so I'm gonna put the timer on. Oh, that's right, you can't do the timer with the sweet rice. Yeah, forgot about that. All right, so I'll turn this on and I'll show you that uh, when it's done, but I'm not gonna be cooking it right now. All right, so here it is when it's done. Let me pull it out. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the difference, but there there definitely is a difference. It is a little more gluey. Anyway. And we're back. I don't really love sweet rice. It has a weird aftertaste to it. Not my favorite. So I use it interspersively or like interspersed between, I don't know. It, it's not, it's not my favorite. Okay. But it, it actually, it clumps really good. So if you're into making nori wraps and stuff like that, it really works very well for that. So if, if you're looking to try something new, if you don't have a rice cooker though, I, I would 100% not even tell you to try it because I, I don't know how you, I know there's ways to cook it. There's actual bowls for this. There's, there's cooking bowls for this that you can actually use. It's very hard to cook if you don't have the, the actual means of cooking it. So if you don't, I wouldn't make it. This was week number four. I started uh, really noticing a lot more energy, a lot better digestion. The digestion was really good. I'm not really craving fats like I, I like I normally do. All right, here's the haul. So I did get some vitamin K2 mustard, apples, potatoes, cucumber, mushrooms, tomatoes, more bananas. <clears throat> and then just some of that juice in the drink. There you go. Oh, I did get a thing of sugar down there. A uh, thing of ginger. My favorite. Because I got some nori wraps, but tonkatsu sauce. 
topping. I'm actually just gonna dip. And then I got a couple of things of dates. Might I add a little bit of avocado and stuff in here in the future going forward? Maybe we'll see. Um, that can get us become a, a slippery slope. So if you can do it in moderation, fine. If you can't, then I would just stay away from it altogether. And that was the four weeks. So the first week was potatoes and juice. The second week was uh, potatoes or juice, potatoes, uh, rice. And those two weeks I had vegetables in it. The third week I used up whatever vegetables I had probably by Monday or Tuesday and I stopped adding vegetables in. And then I was doing the juice the the salad that I make, the potatoes and rice after that. Then into the fourth week is basically the rice diet with potatoes, is basically what it is. It's mostly raw. There's some days it's not gonna be like that, but for the most part, it has been mostly raw. And then uh, potatoes or uh, rice or combi combining the two for dinner. Last night, that's actually what I did, okay, so. It has been amazing. I really have noticed that I don't crave well, any of that stuff that I, I, I had I had in the past. I actually have some of it still in my freezer and I'm not even tempted to use it. Here is here is the rices that I use. Uh, there's, there's other uh, brands that I use, but this is one that I have right now. And that one, that one's a little bit uh, like a small, small grain. And then you can see. And then here's another sweet rice that I have. And if you can look in there, you can see that the, the grain is completely different than just a standard rice. So if you look at that grain comparatively to that, it's completely different. If you're, if, I know I haven't really done much with the coaching group, even though I started going forward. If I ever do like have people to coach, this is definitely what I'm going to coach them on. And I'm going to do this exact same program that I did for myself. And I want to see how good it works for others because I was shocked by the weight loss, which I'm gonna go over in a couple of minutes. One thing that I have not talked about so far in this video is hydration. Now hydration is something, I try to pee clear or near clear all day long. And I've, I've really struggled with it. I noticed the more processed food that I add in, the more I struggle with it even more. And I, I'm not talking sugar here, I'm not talking pasta, I'm talking about like, the fake meats, because I can I can see in the comments section the sugar haters coming in here. Like, well, I told you sugar, is meh, 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 meh. whatever, dude. I I've never had a hydration issue with uh, sugar ever. I've never had real hydration with pasta. It's only when I add in the the fake meats or the tofu or a little bit of oil that I've struggled with hydration. And as the weeks have gone on, I've noticed I need less and less water to get hydrated. So I'm probably at the point right now where I'm drinking between one and a half and two gallons of water a day. J just is what it is. I'm still uh, a large creature and that's just where we're at. But it really helped quite a noticeably, noticeably. The one thing, if you add nutritional yeast, I have noticed that I, I, ha I struggle a little bit to have hydration uh, perfect when I have uh, nutritional yeast in there. So you might want to play around with that because I know a lot of people who eat potatoes also eat, like to eat nutritional yeast. One of the last things I'm going to mention before I get to the, to the weight loss is I was exercising every day other than Saturdays. I always take Saturdays off or at least one day during the week. I like to exercise just six days a week. I was starting off the day uh, progressively adding more to the cellar sizer. So in the beginning of this, I was only doing like 10, 15 minutes of cellar sizer. Now I'm doing like 35 to 40 minutes a day of cellar sizer in the morning. And then night after I do all my work stuff, I am doing between half hour and 60 minutes of uh, cardio, uh, just hiking. Uh, there was a couple of days that I went riding on the bike when it was really nice outside. The weather's been so all over the place, but I have added it in. And I like exercise more for what it does for the body than the calories burn. The calorie burn is somewhat, 
insignificant comparatively to what the diet's going to do for you. So I would not do it for that purpose. But to get your body of uh, insulin issues, uh, cortisol issues, uh, kind of in check, the exercise really helps with that quite a bit. It's it's going to do the opposite of that in the beginning. Your cortisol, uh, you're going to have cortisol issues uh, uh, in the beginning because you're going to have raised cortisol after you exercise. The more you exercise, the more it kind of flips and it starts reducing the cortisol. And the final thing that people are going to want to know is how much did I lose during this process? So I, the, the first, I actually didn't take this picture in the first week. I, uh, I took this picture in the second week because I completely, I thought I took one in the first week and I forgot. The starting weight that I have is 283.6. And I ended up at 275.4, I think it was. I'll show the pictures here. I was shocked, actually. I, I, I guess I lost it just all over because I was shocked at the weight loss. I, I'm pr pretty sure it was about 10 pounds of, of loss because if the second week was 283.6, I was probably in the 285-ish range in the first week. I was, I'm was. i pretty surprised. Now, I, I, I have an event at my parents' house coming up uh, my mom's usually a pr pretty good barometer with that. She's like, ah, you gained weight or, oh, you lost weight, you know, the second she sees you. So and that that is largely, largely it. Another thing that I think I'm going to go over, though, is um, expenditure. If you're doing mostly potatoes, your cost is very low. I think in the beginning, I was only spending 30 to $45 a week. That Then when you add in the, the fruit, that is when it was going up. And so I think I'm more in the 80 to 100 for the week. Now, if you're a family of four or five or six or whatever, that is going to get expensive. So maybe don't add the fruit because I actually had pretty good results with just like I'm looking at this and potatoes and rice and a little bit of fruit. I don't have that. I don't have that expenditure right now. So, you know, take that with what you will. I mean, if it's a hundred dollars a week per person, that, that's going to get really up there. So really think about that. So you might want to just stay on the starch. I don't really think there's a huge difference, honestly, weight loss wise. I know some people are, uh, go back and forth with raw. I've gone back and forth with raw. I, I don't know. I, I really don't think, especially with the, the state of fruit these days, I don't think there's a huge advantage other than it digests a little bit better. It digests, uh, like if I had to cut out fruit, I wouldn't be upset about it. And that's it, that's it. The, the one thing that really gets you through is if you can find a bunch of low fat dressings, that, or not dressings, like condiments that you really like. Honestly, I just was using ketchup and um, Japanese barbecue sauce for the majority of this that, and a little bit of soy sauce. I think that's all. Oh, and mustard. Those are the four. I, I don't think I've used anything else. There is a sweet and sour that I make myself that I, don't, I think I've always forgotten to make videos on. You can get creative with making your own sauces, especially from those four ingredients that I, or four uh, condiments that I just uh, put in. I think this video is long enough though right now. So if that's something that you want me to do, I may not do it here, I might do it on my Instagram, but I, I, I can show you how I make some of my sauces. It's easy, you know. That's it. Any comments, questions down below, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.